how distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly he wished the morrow, vainly he had sought to borrow from my books a cease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore. For the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels named Lenore, nameless here forevermore. was once upon a midnight dreary while he pondered weak and weary over the many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While he nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone gently rapping, rapping at his chamber door. "'Tis some visitor," he muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. John. There are strange goings on in this house that are not of man's doing. Do not be silly, my friend. There are no happenings that go unnoticed by me. That may be so, but that is no reason for you not to leave this dreaded place. My staying is of my own choosing. Now leave me. Deep into that darkness peering, long he stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the darkness gave no token, and the only words were spoken was the whispered word, Lenore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore, quoth the raven, nevermore.